Today, I'm going to do a quick recipe, nice, healthy, easy chicken recipe. It's easy to do, fairly quick to do, to be fair, and the kids are going to absolutely love it. It's like a sweet, tangy, fruity chicken, but the kids are going to love it because you've got some fun ingredients. <clears throat> what kid doesn't like ketchup, big and small? First of all, you're going to need your ingredients. I've got chicken breast, you can use thigh or wings, whatever you prefer. You need some foil, a bowl, bacon tray, salt, pepper, mango chutney, mayonnaise, ketchup, we've got ground cumin, smoked paprika, I've got sweet but that's only because some people in the household don't like smoke, so they find it too um, spicy. So we're using sweet. There's my pepper and some lemon. You can use freshly ground garlic. I'm going to be lazy and I'm going to use pre-minced garlic, which is just as good and really the taste of what we want. So that's nice and quick and easy. First things first. Recipe. Always good to follow a recipe. Uh, what have we got? So we need to, let's get our oven on. We want the oven at about 200 degrees Celsius for a fan oven. And I'd say, well no, about 180, 200, depends on your chicken. To be fair, this chicken that I'm using, the chicken breast, I know cooks at uh, 200 degrees in a fan, 220 in a conventional oven for about 25-30 minutes, so that's what we are going to follow. First things first, get into the chicken. Never One eternity later. Some has been in the fridge, some of the water and the blood from the chicken has come out of it, which is fine, it's like any meat. You're always going to get a little bit of that, but we're just going to give it a good wash and get all that sliminess off because chicken can be quite slimy. So we'll just bring it to the sink, set the tap running. Put that in there, and then we'll get the chicken breast. Just literally getting all the crevices. Let's give it a good wash. Really, in all fairness. Always wash your hands after you've been handling any kind of raw meat, especially chicken. Go on in germs, so now that's all washed. Okay. Always remember guys when you're washing the chicken, always make sure you use cold water and not hot water because um, obviously hot water is going to start changing temperature in the chicken which is never good, you never want to do that. So yeah, after we've given our chicken a good wash, we can just prepare the marinade. We're just going to marinate it first, just give it a marinade, helps get it nice and soft and that's it flavour get into it. We're going to get our bowl. Now I've got about 800 grams of chicken but really in all fairness you just want probably about 500-600 grams. I mean it doesn't matter. It's not, it doesn't have to be accurate. So we'll put the chicken in the bowl. Turn our scales on. Our first ingredient is 180 grams of mayonnaise-ish, give or take. The recipe actually calls for 90 grams of mayonnaise, but I'm usually I'm doubling it because I've got double the amount of chicken. The recipe calls for 600 grams, I've got 800 grams. 
So we'll just use a bit more chicken than the recipe calls for. So just spoon the mayonnaise into the bowl on top of the chicken. great thing about these ingredients are is you can find any of them at any local supermarket they're relatively cheap I mean mayonnaise a couple of quid for a jar of mayonnaise it's no biggie so there we go there's 180 grams of um, mayonnaise uh, what else we got mango chutney 30 grams Spoon might be a bit easier. Well, the recipe calls for 30 grams, so I'm doubling it because I've got slightly more chicken and I've got chicken breast, which is the larger surface area. So, there we go. There's 60 grams of mango chutney. Yum, yum. Tomato ketchup. Use two tablespoons of tomato ketchup. So that's one. That's two. and four teaspoons of lemon juice so we're looking for about eight so you know what three tablespoons <coughs> and so the recipe calls for three cloves of garlic obviously I'm using this pre-crushed stuff so I'm going to go with three teaspoons. Don't really want too much garlic because otherwise it'll overpower it. Um, again, you can buy this pre-stuff, pre-done garlic at any supermarket. And we want a half a teaspoon of ground cumin. So that'll be a teaspoon of ground cumin. Again, I'm going to get a fresh, fresh spoon. Teaspoon, spoon, spoon, teaspoon. Teaspoon of ground cumin. Oh. Teaspoon of smoked, of pap, smoked paprika. So, again, I'm using a teaspoon because I've doubled the recipe. I'm using a different paprika, I'm using sweet paprika, but you can use smoked or mild or standard or whatever you want to use. And we want a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, so I've already ground the pepper in my cellar. So we're just going to stick that on. Lovely old job. And we've got a teaspoon of salt. Excellent. So that's all our ingredients in the bowl on the chicken. And literally, this is the fun bit. You can get the kids to do this if you want to. It's entirely up to you. But the next step is literally... Get our hands dirty. and get stuck in and just mix it around in the bowl. I'm actually going to use a fork and a spoon. So we'll take it off the bowl. 
literally just mix all the ingredients together. It's so easy. Just mix it all together, give it a good stir. Probably should have used a bigger bowl. Literally mix that all together, make sure all the chicken is covered. And that's it. So I'm gonna cover that, leave it in the fridge for a couple of hours to marinate. I'm gonna go and read a book and make a cup of tea. And then we'll come back in a couple of hours and stick it in the oven. Just quickly before we um, stick that in the fridge to marinate for a couple of hours, while you're at it, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel because it makes me smile and I don't smile a lot. Just ask my wife, she will confirm that. Also give it a thumbs up because that'll make me smile even more. And also, have a go yourselves. Video yourselves making this easy, juicy, Juicy mango chicken is what I'm going to call it. Juicy, juicy fruity, juicy fruity chicken. So there you go, there we go. So video yourselves making this recipe. Post your video in the comments below and hashtag juicy fruity chicken and tag me, Squats Music Life, in your description and stick it in the comments below. And I'll have a look at them and maybe I'll do a combination of the best ones and we'll do a combination and maybe um, you guys can also put on the, in your comments as well what you thought of the taste, the flavour. If you played around with the recipe, don't be afraid to play around with the recipe. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. Stick it all in the comments. Squats Music Life. So yeah, so just to recap, got all your ingredients. Stick it all in a bowl, nice and easy. Doesn't have to be exact science. Mix it all together, let it marinate for a couple of hours, and there you go. We'll see you in a couple of hours. One eternity later. Right, so... Chicken's been marinating now for two hours in the fridge. As you can see, it's all covered in mango, mayo-y juiciness. So I had the oven on 200, just preheating. It's nice and warm. I'm going to put some silver foil on your baking tray. Curl it around the end edges. You want to make like a cloak, for lack of a better expression. So make sure it doesn't rip, you don't have any rips in, in this piece here. But you want to line the tray and make like a, so a bit like a, a, bit like a, a boat. And then all we're going to do is going to dump the chicken onto the tray. Juices and all. And then you're literally going to get all the rest of the marinade out of the bowl and cover the chicken with it. Stick that on there like that. And we're going to chuck it in the oven. Like I said, about 25 30 minutes at 200 or whatever your um, chicken package suggests that you cook it for. So we'll let that cook. And we'll see you when we're ready to One set. eternity later. Okay, so. Chicken's ready to come out of the oven. Let's have a look. So we'll stick that on a plate and serve it up. You can serve it with chips, 
or rice, whatever you want really, mash, don't know if it goes too well with mash, um, some beans and peas, um, yeah, choice is yours. Let's get it dished up. Don't forget, I want to see your videos of you creating this in the comments below. We'll pick the best one, so we'll stick that on the plate there like that. I've been a bit lazy tonight, normally I'd cook my own chips, maybe that's another video, but I've decided to use oven chips. Right, so, you can serve it up like I said with rice or chips, I've been lazy, I've decided to use McCain's oven chips, just because I'm a bit short of time tonight and I really can't be bothered to peel potatoes and do them in the air fryer or in the oven. You can serve it with rice, like I say, I've got rice in the fridge from a couple of days ago already redone, you can reheat it with that. So we'll serve it up. Some chips. And some beans. Enjoy. Give a nice pint of beer. Or wine. Cheers. Enjoy.